Hi, hola, buenos dias. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and saying hi. I really appreciate it. As always, it's your girl, Daniela, aka Danny Bo, aka Miss Four Lizard. And I'm so glad you could join me for this flip through of my brain dump notebook also known as my daily journal also known as the book of the moon so if you're interested in flipping through this daily journal with me and checking out how i use a brain dump notebook just stay tuned so this is my daily notebook slash my brain dump notebook and i've had one of these for a while for a couple years now at this point and I find them very, very useful for how I live my life. So this notebook is like a free-for-all for me. I put whatever I feel like putting in here. It's simply lined pages. Um, this particular one just has lined pages. And I use it to brain dump. I use it to daily plan. I use it to jot down notes. This thing has all kinds of things in it and it's it's meant as a place to be a little bit more freeform and flexible. I have my happy planner which I love and I do use my happy planner a lot but sometimes I need a space that's a little bit more of a brain dump space and I don't feel like um, putting that into my happy planner and so that's where this guy comes in. I mostly use this for work. I usually have it in my office at my desk next to my computer. Sometimes I'm very organized with it. I'll have like my whole day schedule that I want to you know follow and sometimes it's just a place where I am writing down a thought or two. So I got this notebook in a Marshalls for about five bucks, you know, relatively inexpensive. And I really liked it because it is this beautiful light pink color, which is the color of my soul. And it says Busy Bee on the front with these super cute little gold foil honeybees. And like I always mention, I study honeybees um, for graduate school. And so this really spoke to me. And it's a pretty chunky guy. You know, I would say there's like almost 400 pages in here. Uh, well, I mean like double-sided, you know, like I'm sure there's like, I feel like there's, um, cause like half, I feel like I'm halfway through and I'm at 200. So there must be, you know, like close to 450 pages altogether here. But here, let me just flip through this and uh, show you i won't show absolutely every single page because i said as i said i'm like halfway through it and i'm on page 221 so but I'll, I'll definitely flip through some of it and show you some of my favorite spreads so so the first page page spread in this moon notebook is this sticker collage that i just put together using lisa frank stickers and happy planner stickers and capital chic design stickers and scrapbook paper and i always like to have a very fun and decorative spread at the very beginning to kind of like you know christen this book and um just get me going and i also kind of like to have like a little note at the very beginning kind of um dedicating this book and um just you know introducing it and i really liked how the spread came out and then we go straight into well actually i have another little collage sticker collage here on this side because it's still technically it was it was a blank page there was there were no lines on this on this page here and so i just kind of wanted to have fun with it and sticker it up so i have another cute little sticker collage over here that's really motivating with a bunch of boss ass babes here and then this was the first page in the book and i had a to-do list um another thing i like doing in this book is pasting in stationery um, particularly like to-do lists and productivity type stationery I have tons of different types of stationery that are like templates for to-do lists or to help you structure your day and I like um, popping them into this into this book. I think it's a great place to have them and uh, I started this book I think on the first yeah I think the first thing I actually did in this book was on the 4th of January of this year and so 
um, as you can see sometimes I'll write down my schedule and sometimes I'll write down reminders and of course this thing is like mostly to-do lists as well as important thoughts here's another stationery that I have that I, I really like and so that's there and then here's more examples of stationery I include in here and sometimes it's as you can see it's very very uh, there's a lot going on. There's notes, there's stickers, there's to-do lists, there's schedules, there's um, receipts, and yeah, I it's definitely um, uh, it's definitely a lot. And sometimes I will write notes for like a particular thing, like I was preparing for an interview, and so I have a bunch of like notes for that interview in this section, and more interview notes and you know some other stuff more stationary stationary washi tape stickers yeah so that's what that's what this is as you can see it's a catch-all for anything and sometimes i'm really messy with it and sometimes i'm a bit more uh i'm a bit more organized with it i have some budget stuff here a little bedtime routine some notes notes to-do lists and i kind of re uh, treat this like a like a, almost like a journal uh, because i just continue on wherever i left off but it's more for work and research and such so it's kind of like a research journal uh it's less for like my everyday life although i will you know include that in here as well like here i had some um household errands that have nothing to do with my work but I put them in here so yeah but mostly it's my work it's work stuff so it's kind of like my my research journal so there we go I really like this page oh wow I remember when I was doing this data analysis it was really it was really a lot and I had so much going on because I have multiple data sets that I analyze and it's so hard to keep track of all of them at the same time. So this really helps me. I loved this washi tape down here. So more data analysis stuff. Analysis stuff. As you can see, I can get really messy in here. And then sometimes I'm a bit more organized. Wow. This is definitely like a blast from the past. I remember I was obsessed with this washi tape. I was, you're gonna see it a lot in this flip through. Oh, I love this. More washi tape. Uh, I was playing around with some stamps. Oh, and this is, um, around this time I got this really cute stationery uh, packs at Home Goods, And it was too big to fit, like if I couldn't paste it into the book because my book was a little too small to paste the whole stationery sheet in. So I ended up cutting it um, so that it would fit. So I cut it into a couple of pieces and pasted them into the book here. And then here was another stationery um, set that I had to cut up to, to fit in here. Really cute. And then more notes, more notes. Sometimes I leave, I, I leave whole pages blank. I have a lot of the stickers from the horizontal sticker pack from the Happy Planner around here because I was trying to finish up that sticker pack. Some experimental design. Some pages are really blank. Actually, you know what, I think I'm going to end up flipping through this entire book because uh, cause I'm just like having too much fun revisiting all these pages. Yeah, let's see. As you can see, this is definitely a very brain dumpy type of notebook. Oh, I love this. I love this spread here. Um, I just had one of those cute stationary sheets. And then I had my schedule here in the in the middle, and then I played around with some stamps and some glitter and some stickers. Love this washi tape. Oh, you can see I was obsessed with that washi tape. And I put a little photo here. I had some extra photos that I printed out, so I just popped them into this um, 
this the section and this see this is an example of something that isn't work related I was planning out um, my vacation in late March and some budgeting stuff oh I need to glue this in it's gonna fall out let's do that right now actually before it falls out schedules and then I had an interview that I was preparing for as you can see I prepared quite a bit and then another schedule yeah so sometimes I don't really I'm not really decorative with it I'm you know it's more of a brain dump section And this is, I'm finally, I'm getting to, to the end here. This was actually this week. So yeah, you can, you can check it out here. Ah, finally. So this is the current day, I May 15th. And I have a to-do list, some other things that I want to do. And that's it. That is, oh, I have some notes up here, but that is all. We've reached the end of my brain dump notebook. And my bookmark for this guy is this really adorable, beautiful um, bookmark that I got at the the Met in New York City, one of the most iconic art museums ever, and I could not resist this beautiful bookmark with the little unicorn. I think this is from some medieval tapestry or something, and it's just gorgeous, and so that's my bookmark for this book. and. You can definitely see this thing gets so fat with how much I put in here. I still have quite a bit to go, so by the time I'm done with this, this thing is probably going to be like at least maybe like that big. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll it'll keep together, and I don't have to like um, reinforce the binding here. But um, yeah, so that's what's going on here. So I definitely feel like everyone needs a brain dump notebook. I think it's I think everyone needs that space to um, just really play around in and you know not feel limited or have like too many expectations about it coming out beautiful and pretty. I have my happy planners for that um, when I make happy planner spreads. I do like to have things a bit more, you know, polished, but I do also need a space that I can just dump my mind's contents on. And usually this is more so for work. Another thing that I really like using this, um, this daily journal for is to do like daily schedules and to do and to paste in my to-do lists from like stationery and such. I know the Happy Planner has daily pages which have like a section to um, to write out your schedule and such, but I kind of need something a little bit more freeform and flexible because sometimes I I don't really like need the hour to hour grid I, because you know I'll just like chunk off I'll just like break my day into blocks of time so you know something I don't really need like the whole twenty four hour grid or even from like 6 to 6 p.m. I don't, I don't need I don't need all of that and I like to just construct it as I need it and so you know uh, this just this gives me like a space to to do daily pages but also to um, have the freedom to construct my daily pages like I see fit so yeah that is my my brain dump daily journal notebook my busy bee and yeah i love it and i hope you enjoyed checking out my my flip through of this guy and i'll catch you in my next video bye